Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks DIY Garage. Well, I'm here doing some painting on some old wheels trying to make them look a little better. And uh, first of all, I have my mask out here because of that. Second of all, I'm getting ready to do some grinding and some other things. So that's why I have these filters on. And I was getting ready to put these ones away and I thought, you know, I, I've done some videos on I think these filters maybe even or at least on some mass stuff but not really kind of a more in-depth view of what you really should do to take care of your filters um, it is more than just putting them on and setting them on a counter um, you really need to take care of these filters um, not all of them but uh, specifically the ones I have here I'm not sure about this one I'll be honest um, have charcoal in them what they call activated charcoal which is what these are right here now these are the ones I actually used for painting now you need to do your homework there are a lot of filters out there and I mean a lot and they vary in price by a lot especially nowadays when these things are getting harder and harder to find because of COVID now these filters right here from the research i did i'm not going to give you numbers i'm not going to give you that kind of information you need to do your own research because i could be very wrong but paints and stains and thinners and those kind of things have vapors in them that these are ideal for these are made for these filters right here now these filters go above and beyond that even they have for automotive paint is what I, from my research yet again, should use for painting. I could be wrong yet again, so I'm not going to give you numbers. That's why I'm not giving numbers out, so don't even ask. But these filters, just because they're pink, don't go look at a pink set like them and say, oh, that must be the same filter, because it probably won't be. Um, but I believe these ones will work somewhat for isocyanates. Quite honestly, I have been told the isocyanates in automotive paints, the only way to not breathe those in completely is by getting a fresh air mask that brings in fresh air, filtered air from the outside. Stupid expensive, can't afford one, never will be able to for the type of work I do. So this is the next best thing I'm, from my research yet again, am thinking is the next best thing. So these are what I use for paints, even spray paints like rattle cans these do have harmful harmful filters and beyond that i'm going to bring another one in here these right here and what everybody calls n95 masks now yet again you got to do your own research on stuff but these will not work for any kind of vapors or fumes so the only thing these ones are good for is if you don't want to be spitting out blue spit at the end of the day it'll keep the color somewhat from coming out but as far as the bad stuff that is in here this will not protect you and i mean i've i've done it i put one of these on mainly because i was in more fresh if you're in fresh air yet again you got to choose for yourself if you do anything i say to do and you hurt yourself or harm yourself i am not responsible if you don't like the way i do something don't do it so there you go you are responsible for your own safety um, but the only it, outside and you got plenty of fresh air then yeah this will keep the blue from from going in your mouth a little bit and so back to these here you'll see I have them in a bag and what it is is these have charcoal act what they call activated charcoal in them now I try and take as much air out of these as I can I put them in a ziplock bag ziplock them as best I can and on top of that, I will keep whichever ones I don't have attached to this mask, I put them down in the coffee can here and put them away. And I even, at the end of the day, if you push down, you should do this with your coffee too. Push down on the top, pop up, and then put down. That'll take the air mostly out of this. Now these coffee cans are not near as good as metal coffee cans, in my opinion, at keeping stuff out. But just... The way I do it and I don't couldn't find any more of these now yet again the reason for that activated charcoal filters 
Um, those, once they hit air, start absorb absorbing moisture and chemicals and dust and whatever's in the air, it'll start uh, accumulating and it'll actually dry it in um, and, and trap it. So these only last until that quits working and then it starts allowing stuff through. Once yet again, once you start smelling smells, you have probably overused it beyond what you should. Um, then we come to this one right here, which is these ones here. Now yet again, this is from my research. Don't look at these numbers and say this is what I need to do. If you want to look at these numbers and, and go see if you believe that it's what you need for what you're doing, then go right ahead, but it's not, I'm not responsible. Now these ones right here is what I use for grinding, sanding, which you'll see in my video I actually was grinding with these ones on which is perfectly fine. You could use these for everything in my opinion, but these are more expensive. So I try not to do that. Sometimes I forget and whatever's on here, I use it. Um, now I put these ones on cause I got more grinding to do, but these are more for like grinding dust. These are more like this right here, only a better version. And these ones for welding, these won't do anything for welding. These ones actually do say, from my research that they will work for welding fumes um so if you're welding things that are questionable um yet again do your research but um like if i was welding galvanized which i i would grind off as much galvanized or get rid of the galvanized as much as i can yet again if you're grinding galvanized or something my mustang the quarter panels on it and other, some other parts on it um, not only has lead in it, but um, has they're galvanized in certain certain areas. They they galvanized Mustang parts um, on my '65 Mustang, and mine has some galvanized metal on it. So, um, you know, when I'm grinding or welding or anything on that, I'll I'll put these on for that. Um, so this is from the research I've done. These will work also for everything except for paint they will not work for paint they say right on them they are not for those types of vapors i believe so yet again you can do your research i'm just trying to tell you how to do it so after that i put these ones back in this bag now which is the one i use, i had these ones in so whatever ones i'm not using i put in these bags try and get the, as much air out yet again as you can i'm going to stick those in here yet again they're stuck in here and I'll stick those in a box and then this one I need to get a new bag my bags are getting old here although I think this one still does all right see I'm getting in a hurry I normally kind of put this over like that get these all in here you start filming you start getting in a hurry and people tell you to talk too much <laughs> Anyway, um, I'll put this one in here, close it up part way, let as much of the air out as I can get out. I'll fold it all up, get as much air out as I can, and finish zip locking it up. And that one will go in here. This will go on top. I will yet again blow as much out as I can. You'll see that that's sucked down right there. And uh, Bob's your uncle, so to speak. Mark it so you know what's inside of it. And those are taken care of. Now I've had these in here for probably more than a year, a year plus, and I am not smelling anything through either of these doing stuff. So also on the package or somewhere, it'll tell you how long you can keep these for. Um, I believe there is even some information of how long it lasts in, in air out of something. And if you keep it sealed, like I'm doing it, how long they'll last. Um, I am not positive on that either. There's a lot of your own research that you need to do when it comes to this. There's just too much information and there's too many different types of masks you can use. Um, and they vary greatly on prices and what they do. So... Hopefully you enjoyed that. I know it was kind of long drawn out and me just talking about things, but it's a very important thing you should know. If you've been leaving this on your, on your table or in a drawer or anywhere that's not sealed, your mask is bad by now because I do believe it only, they only last like 
I think a month would be pushing it. I'm not even sure. It might be in the days instead of months is how long those filters will last if you do not keep them sealed. So there you go. Now you know. Do your research. Thanks for watching Junkworks DIY Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.